Hello Talk Family, I'm your host. My name is Desh Balay Bechen and thank you so much for joining me on yet another exciting episode of Talk the Talk. So today's guest knows that one of the most important elements of a service advisor's role is customer service. For her, the customer is priority and this is why she is frequently seen um, going the extra mile for them. She values her customers and is always eager um, to assist with uh, an attentive ear and quick problem solving skills and I think this is why her dealer principal has nominated her for the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards 2024 so she is an official nominee. Um, without further ado let's get to know Nompi Maklangu and she is the service advisor at Motus Toyota Kempton Park. And as always, this interview is proudly brought to you by Suriti Solutions, MFC, and Evo by NetBank. Hello, Nompi. Hi, Betesh. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. And I am so delighted that Michelle has nominated you for the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards 2024. Congratulations. Thank you very much, and thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. So. <laughs> Nompi, um, you are full of energy. You have walked in here with so much of bubbliness and so much of, you know, you, you infectious. Why are you like that? Dish, honestly, if I can tell you, I guess it's just because the love I have for people, for working with people, interacting. Whenever I'm around people, I actually get excited mm -hmm. and I want to be a part of anything or everything positive that's happening even if it's negative i would try by all means to try and convert that negativity into positiveness and make people around me jump up and down and smile and as i said earlier and i think that is why you've been nominated because you have that level of professionalism you have that level of uh you know customer service skills and that's so important so how did your journey in the motoring trade begin dear yeah, see you won't believe <laughs> i was actually a sports facilitator mm -hmm. in port eight Wow. Uh, there's a beach resort by the name of Teva Strand. I'm mm -hmm. sure a lot of you are familiar with it. Mm -hmm. um, as we all know what happened uh, in the tourism industry during COVID and everything. Terrible. yes. So what happened happened. We got retrenched unfortunately and then I had to come back home of which is in Pretoria. Mm -hmm. And then I found, uh, I obviously couldn't sit around and not do anything. I found um, an opportunity to be an internship at um, Ford in Hatfield. Uh -huh. I did that, I completed my internship and then I ended up at Toyota Kempton Park. Mm -hmm. That's how wow. I came into this Wow, that's industry. amazing. And <laughs> obviously you are aware of our platform. How do you feel that there's a platform like this that uh, uplifts and empower women in our trade? Dej, honestly, I think it is amazing. It's brilliant for me because with, we all know that mostly this industry is male dominant mm -hmm. and for women to be out there and to be able to be recognized like that on such a platform and uh, it's very important for us as women to stand together to uplift one another to be there for each other to empower each other especially um, on such a broad platform mm -hmm. and with all the recognition that we're getting actually it just goes to show you that there's actual continuous growth for women in this industry and that we should never doubt ourselves or ever undermine ourselves as lesser or unequal to men absolutely so Nompi, how um do you consider yourself in terms of your strengths and weaknesses well, I would say that my strengths are mostly having the endurance to most of the situations in either whether it is the workplace or in life. Adding to that, working with people, being friendly and work, being a hard worker to a point where I don't leave things incomplete. Mm -hmm. I honestly solely believe that actually we should all finish what we start. Absolutely, yes, mm -hmm. yes. And, um, how can we as women support and empower each other? You know, Desh, firstly, as women ourselves, we need to be honest with each other. Mm. Also, confidence is the key. And then also step up, show up and make yourself known. Mm. Um, don't shy away from anything out there. Yeah. Um, any advice for young girls, you know, especially women of color that want to join the trade? 
especially in a service advisor's role? No, I would, my advice would be to always be, stay true to yourself, know who you are, know where you come from, be confident in what you do, don't let anybody tell you otherwise you can always do whatever you put your mind to thank you so much nompi i really appreciate you coming here i know it was very very last minute but your voice is going to impact so many young females and especially in after sales as i said it's so difficult sometimes mm -hmm. um, as you said stand your ground and it's not always easy to do that but you do that and you an example to many young females that want to join the trade thank you thank you so much Desh. have a good one okay so um, I'm going to end off this interview by a quote uh, that reminds me of Nompi. She is, she's been through a lot and, uh, you know, she, she pushed through it. So I'm just going to say that the pessimist sees difficulty uh, in every opportunity, whilst the optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. That's by Winston Churchill, and, and that reminds me of Nompi. Um, I also want to just end off this interview by saying that, you know, ladies today um, it's very important for us to take care of our mental health um, being a mentally strong woman is not about how cute <laughs> we look uh, on any given day no it's not about being popular and it's not about earning um, the most money it is about our character it is um, being good uh, examples for others and taking good care of ourselves at the same time. We all have uh, the strength within us and it is very, very important that we do not forget this. With that being said, I would like to remind you that the question should never be who's going to let me, it should always be who's going to stop me.